who are these people that can benefit from unloading versus loading on the spine? I would argue that anybody with a history of low back pain, whether it's disc pain or a history of disc pain, meaning I really consider anybody who's had a disc injury to have a history of low back issue. And anybody that's had a disc injury, I prefer not to put them in a loaded spine position. My goal with them is always at unloading. Anybody with a muscle pain or strain, a muscle strain shows inability to resist the forces of the compression or the work that they've been put under. People with SI joint and pain, I really never load them either. So I'm always working to unload and lengthen those. People who are weak in their core, obese or hypermobile. If we put them in a lot of loaded positions, they're just not going to be able to have the strength to keep from really loading a lot more than we want them to. I have an assumption that people over the age of 65 have some degenerative changes. Those people probably have a little bit of less space between their vertebra and the discs are less juicy. And so it's going to be a lot harder for them to sustain loads. Those with osteoporosis, it's directly contraindicated to put them in a loaded flexion. And then also people who complain of episodes of their low back going out, right? What does that mean? I don't really know other than we know that they have these episodes and they're granted. There's a huge variation on the kind of episodes that people have with low back pain, but I would be very cautious with somebody who says, Oh yeah, every once in a while my back goes out and I have to stay home for two days, or I have really trouble for five days about loading their spine.